Hi everybody, I'm Dominic from NiceMeetDIY.com. In this video, during our kitchen remodel here, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We have our hi-hats, our recessed lighting up over here, which is okay for there, but unfortunately the other side, for whatever reason, they never installed lights. Well, it's hi-hats, the, the ceiling's already sheetrocked, which makes it a lot more difficult to put any kind of anything up in the ceiling. What you have is a six inch can uh, hi-hat recessed lighting, whatever you want to call it. It's a, for remodeling. So all we really need to do is make a six inch hole up in the ceiling. So let's get going and show you how we're going to do that. Okay, I marked out where I want our new lights to be in front of our uh, cabinets here. And our other ones that went on the other side of the room. What we have, something you really want to pay attention to, our ceiling joists are running this way. And none of these existing lights are really in line with them, which means we have a floor joist, a 2x10 in this case, in between. So we're going to have to get access to that, drill that out, uh, but also one of our, our older uh, existing uh, recessed lighting here, we need to get up in there and take that apart so when we make a hole here, we get to finally get the wire over to that that we could uh, properly tie into that. To make these holes, first mark them out, whatever you want to put them. Once you make that hole, well, you can have a hole. The best tool I found is a hole saw like this. Nice six inch one. It makes a little bit of a mess, which we'll see in a second, but it makes a nice clean hole. But, however, one thing we want, really want to figure out is where exactly are our floor joists here. Um, because we can't put a light in between them, right? We don't, you're not going to cut up the ceiling joist or floor joist, whatever you want to call it. Depends where you are. If you're standing on it, it's a floor joist. If it's above you, it's a ceiling joist. So, depends where you are. Anyway, uh, so where I mark these lights is really where I want them. Uh, however, that may not be that good of an option. So, right before I go to make these holes, I'm going to just Find a couple of them and then go 16 on center and make sure that I'm not going to be infringing on one of them. Alright, now it's time for us to, to remove our existing light. What we need to do, if you look on yours, you'll see these little screws that go all the way around. Well, we, all we really want to do is remove these where we can pull the inside of this can down and out. And then I can show you what to do, do from there. Okay, now we got all our screws removed. We can grab the inside here and carefully pull it down. And, you know, there, of course, there will be a wire attached. And there we go. That's the can. Now, if you look here, you'll see a frame. Okay, now you got to realize... The ones we're putting in are remodeling ones, so they pretty much look just like this. Well, these are new construction, which means there's a whole metal frame in here, and it's an electrical box in there, which we're going to have to get to. Uh, you're not going to be able to remove that, that frame in its entirety, so basically what we're going to do, we're going to be pushing it up, and we're going to push it up out of the way of the sheetrock, um, so we can just start doing our sheetrock repair. So now what we got to do, we have to get up in there, uh, which is not always the easiest thing and we have to disconnect our existing electrical. So again, make sure your power is off before you even did this. Okay, let's get going. Okay, now we can look up in here and we can see our electrical box. A little tab, so I'm just going to pull this, oh, lost my flashlight. It's a little cover off. Can you get a shot in there? Let's get my flashlight back. Hang on a second. Okay. You can see up in here our electrical connections here. You know, again our power is off. So what we want to do is disconnect it there and then run our wires. Now fortunately, where I'm we're taking this light out and I'm actually just moving it over. Uh, fortunately, our wires are coming from this direction. Uh, that doesn't always happen. Sometimes you might have to do some modifications in the wire to get them to where you where you want, which is not always an easy thing. So I'm going to start disconnecting all this, and then I can bring those wires and connect them to our new can. Okay, now that we've got our connections made, you can see I already have two wires in here, which is actually uh, light, the wire coming from this side, and one going the other direction. Um, 
Make sure our clips that you see right here are folded inside the can because this is our remodeling one. You want to make sure you get some space and push it up. Bah, bah, bah. Make sure it goes in without uh, any restriction. Okay, it's like right there. The clips are not are locked in, but the can is just pretty much just floating. You want to make sure that you're not interfering. You get these, you fold them in, and then you look close enough. So I got it in, you got a little clip right there, and you just want to bang that up a little bit. And this one, we have three of them to do, and that locks it in. So now, if uh, somebody turned the power on, put our light bulb in, and turn it on. Let's see, get down here. Power's on. Boom, and there we go. Pretty simple. Now what we gotta do is get back here and do our, our sheetrock patch. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how to do a whole sheetrock patch because I got, I got a ton of videos on how to, how to do that. But I am gonna give you this, two tips. The piece that we took out here, remember with our hole saw nice and clean? Well, we're gonna put it back in there. So then we're gonna throw a, a board across this so we can screw it in. Then I'm gonna show you a patch, which is uh, made by a certain company, which I'll show you, and it's a patch that's gonna cover the whole thing that we can tape it all off. Instead of going around with the paper tape, that'd be real pain in the ass. This way's much better. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, we're all done with our lights for our particular room, which is a kitchen, and I have this plug, and I couldn't find our existing plug, so I had to cut one out of a, uh, no piece of sheet rocks. That's why it's green, all right? But don't bust my ass about it being green. So who gives a shit? Okay, but I'm gonna, you know, this is all about how to relocate the lights, not how to do patch, but since we're doing it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you this nice big patch. See that? It goes right over it. It's all perforated, which is nice because you don't have to really worry about so much of the buildup of joint comp compound that you can get there and make a big bump, you know, so when you do it. Uh, who makes these? I'm gonna tell you because so you don't have to ask me a million times. Made by Straight Flex, go to straightflex.com. Uh, I think even Home Depot or somebody like that carries these things. Really cool, I use them all the time for all these things. Anyway, that's how to add or relocate uh, your hi-hats in the ceiling. Thanks for watching, hope you learned something.